hey guys hope you all are doing great today's tutorial this is what we're creating we're creating a light and dark mode theme toggle i know it sounds a lot but what we're basically creating is just this simple toggle right here that we can switch through light and dark mode i'm sure you're familiar with this especially if you're someone who reads a lot or uses the internet a lot you prefer the dark mode when there's light and you prefer the light mode when it's during the day so that's what we're creating right here very simple project nothing too complicated if you're new to the channel subscribe like the vid and you know what let's get to it right here all i've done is in the vs code right here i created the index.html style.css and app.js and i connected the app.js connected the css and i also added this font awesome icon because we're going to use an icon to actually toggle between the light and also the dark mode you know what let's get started with it the first thing we're going to do is we'll create a div and inside this div we'll have an input the input is not going to be a text it's going to be a checkbox and we also give it a class and the class will give it a class of checkbox too and we'll also give it an id and the id i'm going to give it mode yeah that's it for the input the next thing we'll do we we'll also add a label and the label will give it a class of label and it's gonna be for mode now inside this label what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our icons inside here so I just put an icon tag and I'll give it a class name of I know the name of the class so it's gonna be fast F A Moon. Save that we can see it there. Copy it and just change it to F A Sun. Now we can see the sun and the moon. And that's it for the HTML. Real simple, real quick, nothing too complicated. So now let's get to the CSS. Now for the CSS, I'm just going to put some. Now for the CSS, I'm just going to put some border box, box sizing. And it's going to be border box. Save that. And next we deal with the body. And for the body, I'll give it a background color of this color code right here, like this grayish color grayish white color give it a display of flex and align items I call them the sidekicks the sidekicks of display flex and justify content of course center and then we need to give it a height because if we don't give it a height it's not going to be in the center so we'll give it a 100 VH and now we can see everything is in the center. And now we'll add a margin of zero. And yeah, that's it for now for the body. Now we're going to create a body dot dark. And this is giving it just a background color. And the background color, we're going to give it a darker background because this is going to be the dark mode. So we can see the color right here, but it's not going to show because we haven't set it to it. And the next we'll do dot checkbox. And for our checkbox, we'll give it an opacity of zero and a position of absolute. Yeah, so the next thing we add is the label. So we call the class name label and inside that what we're going to have is we'll have a background color and the background color is going to be 111 after that we'll have a border radius 
the border radius will give it 50 pixels. And we're going to create a div called round. And this round right here, we're going to use it to basically animate through light and dark mode. And after the border radius, what we're going to have also is we're going to have this cursor pointer. And a display flex with the sidekicks, a line item, center, and also justify content, but this time we'll say space between. Now we add a padding of five pixels. And we'll also give it a position of relative. We'll give it a height of 26 pixels and also give it a width of 50 pixels. Next thing we're going to select the div that's going to make us animate through light and dark. And the div is going to be dot label dot round and that is going to have a background color of white and it's also going to have a border radius of 50 percent and we have a position of absolute after that we have a top Two pixel left of also two pixel and the height of twenty two pixel and the width is going to also be twenty two pixels. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say transform. I'll transform it, I'll say translate X. I'll set that to zero pixel. After that, we'll give it a transition. After that, we'll give it a transition of transform. Zero point two seconds. And we'll make that linear. Now we need to actually make sure that when we click on the checkbox, so that means when it's checked, and then we select, this is a selector right here, we say the label and also round, and then we transform, and we say translate X. But this time it's going to be 24 pixels. Now we can see right here. Nothing's happening yet because we need to go to JavaScript. But before we go there, I'm going to say dot. And I'm going to take this right here, FA Moon. And I'll give it a color of this right here. Yep. And also FA Sun. These are the class name for the font. Also my icons. I'll give it a color of Three nine C twelve. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to add some transition. So I'm gonna add some transition for the body. Say so background zero point two seconds. And it's going to be linear too. And 
And for the label, I'm going to add a transform and I'll set a scale for that. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, guys. I do answer. And I'll let you know whatever you have a question for. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the JavaScript and just finish it up. Now for the JavaScript, we'll create a constant. I'm going to call that constant mode. I'll say, set that equal to document dot get element by ID. And the ID, the element we're getting is mode. After that, I'll say mode dot add event listener because we need to listen to. And what we're listening to is a change. So now what we say is we say document dot body in that body we want to add a class list and the class list we're going to add is a toggle but the name of the class list is going to be the dark we already created and we've already styled the dark so right now everything should just work out well and perfect we put the colon right here and we save it and now when we click on it you can see that it switches perfectly and you can see the help of the transitions that it actually doesn't move too fast. It's really smooth. The 0 0.2 seconds was perfect for it. And yep, that's it for this tutorial right here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, please. Comment down below if you have any questions. And if you didn't, you can also leave a dislike. But that's it for me. I'm going to wrap things up and keep things moving. And I'll see you guys in another YouTube video.